a raised to power 8 minus a square divided by a raised to power 4 minus a square is equal to 9. We want to find the value of a from this given equation a raised to power 8 minus a square divided by a raised to power 4 minus a square is equal to 9. We have the given equation a raised to power 8 minus a square divided by a raised to power 4 minus a square is equal to 9. Then from here we can factor a square out. Then we have a square into a raised to power 6 minus 1 divided by then the denominator x a square into a square minus 1 is equal to 9. Now this a square we cancel a square. We have a raised to power 6 minus 1 divided by a square minus 1 is equal to 9. Now remember if you have a raised to power n raised to power m is same thing as a raised to power n m. Then let's express this. We have a square raised to power 3 minus 1 divided by a square minus 1 is equal to 9. Now this is this is a square raised to power 3. This is same thing as 1 raised to power 3. We have a square raised to power 3 minus 1 raised to power 3 divided by a square minus 1 is equal to 9. Now remember this expression that if you have s q minus y q is same thing as s minus y multiplied by s square plus s y plus y square where x is equal to what a square and y is one then we have a q minus one q will be equal to what a square minus one multiply by a square square plus a square multiply by one plus one square then divided by a square minus one everything equal to nine now let's write here we have a square minus one into a square square plus a square times one a square plus one square that is one divided by a square minus one is equal to nine then here is a square minus 1 and here is a square minus 1. This one will cancel this. We have a square square plus a square plus 1 is equal to 9. Then let's equate everything to 0. We have a square square plus a square plus 1 minus 9 is equal to 0 because if this plus 9 cross equals sign it become 
minus, then we have a square square plus a square, one minus nine minus eight is equal to zero. Now let a square is equal to t. Then we have t square plus t minus 8 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation and this can be solved by using quadratic general formula. And our quadratic general formula is giving us s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Then from here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to minus 8. Then we have minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 8 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Then remember, t is equal to, we have minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is 1. Then minus 4 times 1 times minus 8. That is plus 32 divided by 2 times 1. That is 2. Then we have t is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 32, that is 33, divided by 2. Then t is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 33, divided by 2 or t is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 33 then divided by 2 and this is less than 0 we reject this no real root because there's no real root here then we only accept this so which is t is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 33 divided by 2. now remember that we said a square is equal to t and our t is minus 1 plus square root of 33 divided by 2 then we have a square is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 33 divided by 2. Now let's take the square root of both sides. Then we have square root of a square is equal to square root of minus 1 plus square root of 33 divided by 2. Now this one will cancel this. We have a is equal to square root of minus 1 plus square root of 33 divided by 2. That is our final answer.